But this isn't a problem that you're going to automatically um, take, you know, go into unless you start thinking about well, what are all the options. The only thing we know with our trig identities is we know what sine squared and cosine squared mean. So if I can somehow transform these to cosine, or I'm sorry, secant squared and tangent squared, then I could be able to use my Pythagorean identity. Now, I could say secant squared times secant squared obviously give me secant to the fourth, and tan squared and tan squared would give me to do the tan to the fourth. But when I worked it that way, I wasn't really getting anything that was gonna help me uh, subtract these two. So the way that I looked at this is whenever I see um, anything to a square power, right, and, or, square power and there's a difference, I'm always thinking of my difference of two squares. Whenever I have two square numbers and there's a difference of them, I can always think about, oh, I can write this as a difference of two squares. Now, since these are to the fourth power, I'm gonna have secant squared plus tan squared of x, and that's a horrible marker, times secant squared of x minus tan squared of x. And if you want me just to just to remind you of where I got this, remember if we had something like x squared minus 9, that's a square number and that's a square number, right? Mm -hmm. So you could just do x plus 3 times x minus 3. And the only difference we have here is instead of using a square, we have x to the fourth minus 9. Well, that's the same thing. Now, instead of just using x's, you would use x squareds. So don't let that be your con the confusing part for you. So if you have to the fourth, you're just going to use oops, x squared. Make sense? So now what I have is I have secant squared plus tan squared and secant squared minus um, tan squared. Well, if I transform this, what I get secant squared, I can transform. So I get secant squared of x plus tan squared of x. And... What I notice is, if I use my Pythagorean identity for secant squared, that's the same thing as tangent squared plus 1 minus tangent squared x. So therefore, what you'll notice is you'll see that these two now cancel out. And therefore, I'm just left with 1 times that. So my final answer, secant squared of x plus tangent squared of x. Like I said, this isn't the only way to simplify it, but this is just one method to simplify um, this problem by using different two squares to cancel it out. Got it? Any other questions on this?